our guys have had enough, even the freshmen have had enough high level competition that you know, we try to tell them the game is no different. You know, the hole and the ball are the same size. And so, you know, just looking for our guys to, to really embrace uh, the level of competition that we have. You know, OJ was a uh, borderline and All-American. You know, Austin set some records. Uh, you know, what he did at Rich Harvest Farms was uh, at a venue that tough and, you know, shooting 64 there. And, uh, so you know, both of those guys and, and what Charlie brought as a leader uh, too and challenging his teammates. And so uh, those three guys are gonna be missed and, and but I like what we have coming. Uh, a lot of new energy. Uh, in, in terms of these three freshmen. You know, Boom is, um, has a lot of international experience. He's uh, you know, played in the U.S. quite a bit, top 10 in, in the Junior Golf School Board rankings uh, internationally. Josh Robinson uh, got a good chance to watch him. It quickly caught our attention. Um, you know, he's just a grindy competitor. He's uh, really consistent off the tee. Actually the only student at Marquette uh, from Northern Ireland, so uh, we're really excited to have him too. So Aiden, someone who um, kind of came on our radar a little later, he, he really caught our attention with the, his work ethic and you know wanting to be a part of what we're doing at Marquette. And uh, so I had a great summer, a couple of top 10 finishes and some uh, strong AJGA events. And so really fits the mold of uh, the character we're looking for and um, you know work ethic as well. It's been nice to continue to improve the schedule. You know, what Aaron Hills has done for us uh, in terms of building our schedule has been huge. And uh, so, I mean, if, if we can have our guys go out and really embrace the, the competition and uh, show an improvement from the day we start till, till the end of uh, Hawaii, that'll be a success for me. You know, bringing in a new assistant coach too, you know, to bring a guy in who was uh, number one amateur in the world for, for a year and has played professional golf for the last six years. Chris is, uh, he's gonna bring a lot, you know, in terms of the golf experience, but um, you know, I think the growth of our, our players as people too, they'll have a big influence on their lives.